Hey everyone, it's Scott from the dailyexposition.com and today I'm going to be going over a free program that I found for Windows that I found to be quite useful with my particular keyboard. I'm currently running the Logitech G915 wireless keyboard. So it doesn't have an important note indicator that I like to have, particularly on my keyboard, which is the numlock indicator. The numlock indicator is missing. I have one for my caps lock and I have one for my battery because this is a wireless keyboard. And because I don't have it, if I'm playing a game and I'm using my numlock as a means of auto moving through the game, which is quite common, especially in a lot of larger MMOs, I end up not having any way of keeping track of if I have numlock enabled or not. So if I alt tab or move to my second screen over here, what ends up happening is, is I won't notice. So if I'm typing anything in that uses the numlock, I end up forgetting and I end up writing in a long password or I end up put some kind of pin or number, say I'm ordering dinner, and I end up not typing anything in and I don't realize until I've gotten through my entire card number, which is very, very frustrating. So to get around that, I found this free program called 7cap. 7cap is a free, nice little indicator that floats up the screen just like this and will let you know if your thumb lock if your numlock or your caps lock are enabled. And it's super simple that anyone can really use it and not for understand. So then when the number seven is being shown, it means that you have numlock, numlock turned on. If I hit numlock, which I will do right now, it disappears and it's just replaced with the background color. Hit turning it back on returns that number seven. When you have caps lock on, the ABC indicator will change to capital. As you can see, now it's fully caps and it works just as you would expect. And the great thing is it's also customizable. So we're gonna go ahead and customize it. Right now I have it shown on the desktop. You can also choose to show it in your system tray, which if enabled, it will do this. So if you wanna have a lower profile one, what you could do is you can move it into your system tray. Let me move the antivirus into the system tray as well. And I currently have it to where the capital letters being shown. So if I hit caps again, it switches to lowercase. But let's say I want to swap it to also show the number lock. Now in the number lock will show in the tray. If I hit number lock, it fades out. So now there's no question if it shows up or not. But it goes a little bit beyond that. You could also enable a sound if you wish. Personally, I found the sounds to be frustrating, so I wouldn't really recommend turning them on. But under the settings window, you can configure the colors that show. So for the caps lock on text, you can set it to any color you wish or the num lock text, and you can change the background colors. You can also change the off text and the off background colors as well. You can even configure a custom sound if you wish to have one to indicate that you're running caps lock or num lock. The one thing that I did modify was the opacity and the rounded corners. Personally, I found the rounded corners to not fit the Windows UI, so I ended up unchecking this box so that way it came out as square. When checked, it just rounds off the corners of the box to make it look more like a pill, but it doesn't really fit the design, so I wasn't into it. And I also changed the opacity from the default of being solid to having a little bit of fade in effect. This way, it looks a little bit more in line with the rest of the desktop and it doesn't look like an eyesore. And the best thing is, is once you click OK, it'll save it and you can drag it to wherever you wish. So even let's say I wanted to put on my second screen to not be a bother, I could just freely move it over there or I just stick it up here in the corner or if I want, I can even put it on top of the taskbar. So now it looks like it's just some indicator in my taskbar to let me know if I have caps or number lock on. I think that this pill style looks much better than the default icons that it puts in here. So we're going to uncheck it and then we're going to just show on desktop, show on desktop and we can move it like right here. I could even go ahead and change the style, the colors and the of the text and the background. Overall, it's just a really handy and nifty little program that I found. And the best part of it's free, and there's not really any need for it to be monetized because it's so simple. Maybe the devs will continue to expand on it, but for the most part, I highly recommend you try this program. 
It's free and it didn't come back as malicious with any of the tests that I ran. So I highly recommend it. If you have any questions about it, you can feel free to ask me below. I'll also include a download link to the program itself. And then I will also include a link to the keyboard that I'm using to illustrate what type of keyboards are not likely to have a number lock key and why I needed this. I really wish there was some sort of indication on this keyboard literally anywhere. There's clearly space for it, but they just don't have it. The only thing this doesn't solve is it doesn't have another indicator for scroll lock and neither does this program, but I've never used scroll lock. So I'm all in all, I can live with it. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.